So let's say I want to work with negative indices and I want to evaluate each of these three. So if I look at 2 to the minus 3, what I'm going to be using here is this law here. This x to the minus p is 1 over x to the p. So that's telling me that 2 to the minus 3 is 1 over 2 to the 3, or 1 over 2 cubed. And 2 cubed is 8, so this is just 1 eighth. OK? If I've got 3 to the minus 4, then that's 1 over 3 to the 4. OK? And 3 to the 4 is 81, so that's 1 over 81. 5 to the minus 2 will be 1 over 5 to the 2. So that's 1 over 25. OK? So those first three, all very similar. OK? They're not too difficult. Um, you just need to know your powers, really. When you get to fractions, uh, 1 quarter to the minus 2, for example, all that's saying is 1 over a quarter squared. OK? It's a similar idea. OK? So then you just need to do a quarter squared. So when you're doing that, you're squaring the numerator, squaring the denominator. OK? So what we have is 1 over 1 squared over 4 squared. Now, we don't want to leave a fraction in the denominator. OK? So if you're doing 1 divided by 1 sixteenth, remember with fractions, OK, so if I write something like that, 1 divided by 1 over 16, if you're dividing by a fraction, that's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So that's 1 times 16 over 1. So 1 lot of 16 over 1 is just 16 over 1, which, of course, is just 16. OK? So 1 quarter to the minus 2 is actually 16. So if we've got 2 thirds to the minus 3, then we have 1 over 2 thirds cubed. Now we're going to cube the numerator, cube the denominator. So we've got 1 over 2 cubed, which is 8, 3 cubed, which is 27. 1 divided by 8 over 27 is 1 times 27 over 8. So it flips the fraction upside down. It gives you the reciprocal. OK? So 2 thirds to the minus 3 is actually 27 over 8. So this is how we can use this rule of the negative index um, in order to evaluate these.